now I confess, yes, today we are back with the next part of Butterfly Kisses on the episode Choose Your Story. If you have not seen the other ones, catch up right here. Last one was a bit of a shocker. Miles, spoiler alert, three, two, one. Miles is behind bars. The FBI came in. They finally busted down Patrick's operation. It was like, yes, everyone was very happy, but they took Miles down with him. Mandy's a cop. Surprise, surprise. That was probably the biggest surprise for me. I was in disbelief when I saw that. And now Miles is just being put behind bars with the rest of them, even though he was forced. I know it's a very gray area with what was all happening, but this is a mess. Gia has been upset. She's like, where is Miles? She thinks things are ruined because she didn't say I love him in time. Little did she know he's in jail right now. So she would just found out and that's where the chapter ended. So now we need to see what happens next. I'm hoping Miles is okay. I'm hoping Miles gets out. I'm scared. I'm very scared. And Vinny cut a deal. So he's not going to jail, which is like, ugh, if only Miles had gone to the police a little bit earlier, maybe we wouldn't be in this predicament, but we're just, we're just gonna see what happens. But the one cop guy, uh, I low key don't remember his name right now, he was an ass. So interesting, but we're gonna see what happens. Please go follow the amazing author Brie, go read her stories on the episode app and support her. If you enjoy this video, please consider giving it a like because it helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's start the drama. I told you we should have went back before the storm. Now we'll be stuck in here all night. Like a sleepover. He doesn't even care. He's excited. Like a sleepover? Oh, really? Like a sleepover? Um, sleepovers are for comfy beds, not for my dad's old conservatory in the middle of a rainstorm. You're not afraid, are you? Oh, she's a little nervous. There's a little, I don't blame her. I don't blame her. It can be scary. No, I just don't like getting my hair wet. Oh, what was that? You are afraid. I am not. I am not afraid of anything. It's okay, Butterfly. You can be afraid I'm here and I'll protect you. Hey, I think it's clearing up already. Wait, don't leave me in here alone. I was like, that was quick. On top of the fact that if they had to sleep over there for a night, wouldn't their parents be like, where the hell are they? Gianna, come and get me. It's just rain. I promise you'll be fine. Why did that lantern being left in there made me nervous? Best friends forever, right? Best friends and so much more, Butterfly. Oh, Gia. I love him. All we know, it's okay. We know you do. No, you don't. I've loved him all this time and now it's too late. I love him. I love him. I feel bad for her. Poor Gia. She has really gone through a lot. Okay, so this is where we're back here. Poor Miles. Being in here is worse than I expected. Can't eat, can't sleep, the desire to simply function is gone. I don't doubt that I could take any one of these chumps, but something about being surrounded by ruthless killers makes me uneasy. I don't belong, and they know it. All I have to do is think. But I don't want to think. My thoughts and memories are too haunting. I wish they would just stop. I tried sleep by closing my eyes and dreaming of a butterfly. My butterfly. I picture her next to me safe and sound with a sleepy smile on her face. My heart hurts to know I may never get to feel her close to me again. It's even more devastating knowing that I may never get to love her. But she is the only thought I can stand to think of. She's my only comfort, my only hope. The only memory I will allow to haunt me as I drift away. There's gotta be something that can get him out of here, I hope. Oh, she looks gorgeous. Miles. Gianna. Miles. Come back. Stop running away from me. Oh, she's pulling horror movie right here. She said, I'm right here as she popped out from behind him. Where are we? Camp Crystal Lake? Paradise. This isn't paradise. Not the roller rink, silly. This is our true paradise. Just you and me and the butterflies. Together forever. Come on. I'm afraid. Don't be, nothing can hurt us here. I'm afraid to wake up because I know you'll be gone again. Shh. Shh. Just close your eyes and think of the butterflies and I'll always be with you. Why don't you love me? I mean, you don't have to. I just thought, 
Look, the blue butterfly. It found us. Oh no, what? Oh, it's all your fault. Miles, you destroy everything you touch. This really is a horror movie. You don't care about me. You couldn't even say it back. Just leave me alone. Gia, wake up. Are you okay? For some reason, I thought this was Miles' dream. It was actually Gia's nightmare. You are crying in your sleep. I have a terrible feeling, Drew. I can't sleep. I can't go on like everything is fine when he's in there. You'll be able to see him in court tomorrow. Just try to get some rest until then. Butterfly, don't go. Get up. What do you want? You can't be in other inmate cells after lights out. If only you cared about following the rules with Patrick. Patrick, did you really think you'd get away with it? Hold him down. Back up. This ain't your business, King. I'm giving you a warning. He snitched on my uncle. Oh, he snitched on my uncle? We can't have no snitch in here. He's with us. With you. You heard me. If you have a problem with him, you take it up with me. Uh... Well, you better sleep with one eye open, Snitch. If you see messing him again, I'll have you sent to cell block D. You know better than anyone that not too many men make it out there intact. Ooh, all this stuff. You snitched on my uncle. Don't worry about him. His bark is bigger than his bite. Well, to be honest, we didn't snitch. You need to go talk to Bonnie. I didn't need your help. Oh, we got a tough guy on our hands. Look, I know how shit works in here. Nothing is free. In turn for protection, I'll owe you. I'll have to do things I don't want to do. So thanks, but I can do my own protecting. I got a phone call from my little cousin this morning saying I might be seeing a Miles Madden around here. He said you've probably done a lot for him, practically saved his life at one point. So that makes us family, man. Kendrick asked me to keep an eye on you since you seem to have a few enemies. Kendrick! Kendrick! Damn, I didn't mean to come at you like that. I'm just on edge. First timer, uh, kind of. You really working with Patrick? No, I was blackmailed into it. I got the best lawyer money I can buy and she better get me out of this. I will not let that piece of shit take me down with them. First time, nonviolent crime. They'll probably let you out on bail. Just chill until court tomorrow. Don't get yourself in any more trouble that can be used against you. If you need anything, we got you. Thanks. Oh, and start eating your meals. You never know when you might need the strength. Okay, whew. okay, that was, that was, I thought we were about to have a little fight in prison. My goodness. Wow. Poor Miles, he's really going through it. But okay, so this is the day. Oh, that's cute. That's real cute. Um, That's cute. I mean, they're all cute. I like the black, but you know what? We're not going to a funeral. We're getting him out. We're going to look good. We're going to look good in some red. She's going in. I'm really interested in this chapter because this is called I Confess. Interesting. I'll see you later at work. Stay positive, Gia. Everything will work itself out. Honey. Oh, Gia, thank you for being here. Miles needs all the support he can get right now. Why haven't you been answering my phone calls? I can't sleep, can't eat. I'm worried sick. I'm sorry, honey. I've just been a wreck. Have you talked to him? How is he? Oh... Goodness, Miss Fida, I'm gonna need you to pull yourself together right now. I have a good feeling he will let be let out on bail, but we don't know what the judge is thinking yet. So stop the crying. Miles can't see you break. You need to be strong for your son in case he has to go back in there. You can't let him go back. Isn't that what he's paying you for? Who are you? Gia, who are you? This is Gianna Moon. Miles, um, they're very close. <laughs> the, he, she's, um, he would want her here. Well, Gianna, I said it's Gia. Do you think we'll give him real time? Will he have to spend years in there? We won't find that out today. But as long as Miles continues to cooperate and the judge doesn't hold his previous arrest against him. Previous arrest? Bonnie, what are you talking about? Miles has never been arrested before. I thought you two knew everything about each other. You! You lying! How can you live with yourself after betraying Miles like this? I didn't betray him. I was doing my job. Was effing him part of your job too? I really cared about him. It was more than just a case when it came to him. If you cared, you would have never let him get arrested in the first place. That's out of my control. They have proof of his involvement. But you know he's innocent, so speak up and tell them everything you know. I'm no longer undercover, Gianna. Keep getting aggressive with me and you'll be charged with assaulting a police officer. Charge me. I'll smile on my mugshot. Oh my gosh, someone settle her down. This is not helping anything. 
do you know what she's done? Put her on the stand. I know everything. And if you keep quiet and let me do my job, I will get Miles out of here. If anything happens to him, I hope it haunts you for the rest of your life, Officer Mendoza. I hope you can't sleep without thinking about putting an innocent man behind bars. Oh, this is getting, this is like a real court session. This is dramatic. Miles Madden, 2467. Oh, he looks so broken. That's enough. The judge is about to arrive. Escort her out of here. She's causing too much of a disturbance. You're the one who needs to get out of here. Gia's right. You should be doing more to help him. I'm doing everything I can. Well, it's not enough. Look, I understand emotions are high right now, but it may be best if you leave. I'm not going anywhere. I'm here to support Miles. Look, she's nearly assaulted me. Let's go. Get off of me. Uh, oh, she's doing more harm than good. Gianna. Miles, I... Hey, get your hands off her. Please don't react. You can't give them a reason to keep you in here. Then tell them to leave her alone. Get out of my way. I need to be in there. Not gonna happen. I suggest you get out of here before you cause another scene. Please, officer, this is important to me. You're only making it worse for him. I always do. I just want to help. Girl, well, stop. Stop. Just be calm. Let's support him. But I just end up making everything worse. I do not want my boyfriend going to strip clubs. It's disrespectful to me. It's just a hangout stop for the guys. Think of it like a bar, but the bartender's... She's really putting up with this. Nova, why? Duh, Howie, that's the point. You can't... You can go to any regular bar. You shouldn't want to throw money at naked girls when you're in a relationship. I don't really like how you're talking to me lately. You're starting to be controlling. I'm not being controlling. I'm setting a boundary. If you respect me and want this relationship, then you'll stay away from the strip club. Great. There goes my plans for the night. I thought you were broke. Weren't you just begging me to buy you a drink? Money comes and goes when you're as successful as me. As successful as you? He thinks he's successful? You, Howie? Someone's lied to him many times. Hey, Howie, didn't know you'd be here tonight. Hey, I'll text you later. Who's that? Just a friend I met at the gym. Is that where you've been spending your nights? This will never work out if you can't be mature and trust me. How can I trust you when you've given me so many reasons not to? I should have listened to Gia. I'm heading out. Don't wait up for me. Yeah. Yeah. How's everything tasting? Can I get y'all anything else? Another order of fries, please. Um... Be right out. Oh, it's her trigger foods. Oh, poor thing. I need an order of cheese fries. On it. Glad to have you back, Gia. Wish I was glad to be back. You okay? You look sick. Maybe you should sit down or grab a bite to eat. I can fix you anything. I've come so far with my recovery, but sometimes I feel like it's not far enough. I know Daniel says everyone has setbacks, but when will they end? When will it get better? It's getting too hard to fight off my own mind every second of the day. Sometimes it's just easier to let my internal thoughts take over and shut down. I was feeling proud of myself for being able to be around food without issues. My fear foods were starting to just become food. But looking at all these people stuffing their faces is making me... Tell where I'm taking my break now. Trust the process, Gia. I am stronger than my negative thoughts. Oh, I'm just as beautiful on the outside as I am on the inside. I will overcome this. I... I can't even stand to look at myself in the mirror, Gia. I'm worthless. I've ruined everything. I can never do anything right. I hate myself. I give up. I don't want to be here anymore. I give up for good. Oh no. What is this? Uh, Miles! You're gonna get your hair all wet. Miles! Hey, butterfly. Sadness takes over my voice as I reach my hand out to wipe the tears falling from her precious face. She whimpers at the sight of me, and moments later, her eyes burst like a flood. I have to hold back myself from crying once I hear the sorrows that's been hidden within her. I've never seen the side of Gianna. The devastation must be too much that she can't hide it anymore. I wasn't sure what had her so upset, but I knew I wanted to be the one to comfort her. I had this intense urge to grab her and hold her and tell her I love her and that I will make sure everything will be okay. 
But then I remember she doesn't want me. She doesn't feel the same. Let's go inside. You'll catch a cold. For me, it was the fifth grade. What? It was after one of your piano lessons. We went to see the butterflies and got trapped out there in a storm. I remember you were afraid you hate the rain, but you made me feel so safe. All my fears magically disappeared with you. We went outside and danced and played in the rain without a care in the world. That's when I knew. Knew what? You were the person I needed, the person I never wanted to be without. That's when I first knew I was in love with you, Miles. Okay, so she said the L word. She gotta say it to him. The tears flowing from her eyes have become heavier and heavier with each word. I felt confused at first. Since the fifth grade, really, was I that clueless? Was I that afraid of her rejection that I couldn't see what was right in front of me? Or was I so consumed by grief and anger that I had forgotten what love really felt like? I wish I said it sooner. I should have picked up the phone like I had promised. Maybe we knew we would have had our chance a long time ago. But I've caused too much damage and I understand if I pushed you away too much. I just needed you to know. I loved you when we were just some stupid kids. I loved you when I left and I thought I could move on. I love you now. And I'll love you always. Her words hit me like a volt straight to my heart. Their tears weren't just for the lost years we could have had. These tears weren't just for me or for her. They were for our love. She doesn't allow herself to break down like this, yet here she is in a puddle of tears screaming she loves me. I'm sorry. I'd be a lot more emotional to this, but how did you get out, Miles? What happened? I didn't mean to betray you. I didn't mean to screw up your life. Please don't cry, butterfly. I can't take it. You're breaking my heart. I break everything I touch. It's just who I am and you're better off. I've never deserved you. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. You always remember wrong. I'm the one who's never deserved you. So much has happened between us. No, y'all both deserve each other. Now, what happened in the courtroom? I know it's too late, isn't it? Gianna, we need to talk. No, not to be continued. I'm into this. 